Hey guys, what's up? It's Anais and welcome to this week's video. One, two, three, fuck it. My darling, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. I moved into this new flat two months ago and I've been working on like organizing everything and decorating so that I could show you guys. And it's not a hundred percent done because there's still like some bits and bobs that I wanna do around here but I thought this would be a good time for me to do one because it's never gonna be a hundred percent completed so I might as well just do it now and uh, yeah just wanted to like quickly say hello before I get started a few things about my flat I live in North London now I pay like a thousand sixty per month and that's excluding bills I live by myself it's called a studio but it's basically like a one bedroom because there's like my bedroom and then a separate area for like the kitchen and I have a huge terrace that you will see so I guess it makes up for the expensive rent I would have gone for something cheaper and like living with other people but first of all I did not know anyone else who I could live with and also it was so hard to find something because the rent market at the moment is horrible so this was the only thing I could find and I got really lucky finding it so I'm really happy with it it's not perfect it's a bit noisy but I really like it so far and it's perfect for now so yeah let's get started with the tour so this is the hallway this is the front door right here and this is my hallway for when I come into my flat these are my keys I just put a hook there so I can like quickly put my keys on there whenever I come back home and yeah there's literally nothing in this hallway I just use it to like come out and come into my flat at first I put a clothing rack in here but it was horrible to walk through because there's no space like this is how much space there is so I took it out now on to the next part so as soon as you enter the hallway you see this you're in the hallway right now so this is basically my kitchen slash dining room so right here is my dining room table so it folds up and down it's perfect because I can put it up and then eat on here and like even work in the morning and I have like two chairs right there that are folded and you can just put on each end and you can just have lunch or dinner with a friend so it's perfect and when it's folded, it doesn't take up any space, so it's perfect. And then I have this cart right here from Ikea, where I just put like my toaster, my kettle, because I have no counter space, as you will see, and just like food and stuff. So yeah, and it's good because it has wheels, so it moves, and it's easy to like move around. And I just put my folded chairs right behind, right here. This is the area. And I didn't put anything on the walls because I didn't have anything to put. You would think that this was a wardrobe, but it's not. It's just like a closet for like the boiler, but it's not even my boiler. It's like the boiler of the building. So I can't put anything in there. Although I did put a suitcase, so don't tell anyone. I'm not supposed to. But yeah, I didn't have space, so yeah. And right there is my vacuum. It's so handy. It's just a portable cordless vacuum, and it's the best thing. And here's my kitchen. So on this side we have my oven slash stove i've never seen this kind of thing before but basically it's an oven and then it has two stove tops on top and i have to like cook like this it's not the best because sometimes it hurts my arm because it's a bit high but you know what it's okay it's practical and i have an oven so that's good i put an extension cord right there because I only have two plugs and I needed more for my toaster and kettle so I put one there. This is the area, then we have my sink and then some dishes are drying. I have my fridge right here. I don't know why I'm showing you this and then we have like storage space, you know, nothing too fancy and I have more stuff under. It's just my kitchen. I have nothing else. I don't even have a microwave, which kind of sucks because like whenever I want to heat up something, I have to put it back on the stove or in the oven, but honestly, it's not that bad. Could be worse. I could also buy a microwave, but I don't know where I would put it, so I'm not going to. Yeah, that's about it for my kitchen. Now I'll show you the coolest part about my flat. 
which is my terrace. I'm not really visible, but behind me is my terrace. I wanted to go on it and talk on it, but obviously there are other terraces next to mine, including my neighbors. I was ready to go outside and film it for you guys, and then as soon as I got outside, he was also on his terrace. So he said hi to me and saw me with my camera, and it was really embarrassing. So I'm not doing that. I did film it a little bit, so you'll see some of it. This is my terrace. It's fucking massive. Honestly, I think it's the same size as my room. So it's pretty big. It's great. I do need to get like uh, some furniture for it. Like I have a bench and a table, but I want like a nice lounge chair so I can just like relax and like read a book or something. And I also want a parasol, a shade, uh, you know, those like those things. <laughs> I want that because sometimes there's too much sun and it, when it's hot like today, it's a bit annoying and I don't want to be in the sun all the time, but I still want to be outside. So that's it for my terrace. It's great for pre's. I did pre's once, although I did get some noise complaints, so not great, but it's great for like when I have friends over and we just chill on the terrace. It's perfect. It's literally the best part about this flat. I love it. And honestly, for London, this is amazing. I don't think you can find this in a lot of places. So yeah. Also, I do want to put some fairy lights all around so that at night you can see something because you can't really see anything at night, but I'm not there yet. I have the fairy lights. I just haven't had the motivation to put them up yet because it's hard. Also, I have this disco ball right here that I hung and in the morning the sun shines through and it's so cool. And I also have like a little crystal right here, right there. And in the morning you get rainbows and little lights everywhere and it's so cool. I'll put a little video. It's the coolest thing. So yeah, very happy with it. Welcome to my bathroom. It's pretty small. Actually, it's not small. It's pretty big. I can like extend my arms like this. But on my left, I have the shower. I have the toilet right under me and then the sink. And then I put this mirror right there because I didn't know where else to put it. And I have like all my products right here and all my jewelry. Nothing too fancy. It's just a bathroom. This is my bathroom. With the shower it's pretty modern so i like it and look at this rug this bath mat i got in urban outfitters in new york city i am obsessed it looks so cool that's my bathroom i did not put any decorations but i do want to put some eucalyptus branches in the shower because i feel like that would look so cool and i would like to get plants in here like up there or something but the problem is that there's no natural light whatsoever so i feel like they would just die Maybe I should get fake ones. I don't know, yeah. But yeah. I also have this mirror right here. I accidentally ordered two of these mirrors. So I didn't know where else to put this one. And I just put it here for now. Until I find something better to do with it. Or maybe I'll sell it. I don't know. But yeah. That was my bathroom. Okay, well now we're in my room. It's not really big, so this is going to be quick. So right here we have my wardrobe that I built myself from Ikea. I did it all by myself with no help. The only help I got was my friend helping me carry the wardrobe inside from my terrace. That was it. This is my wardrobe. It's very packed because I have a lot of clothes. I'm sorry for the weird angles but I just don't have space. <laughs> so this is what you're getting. So this is my wardrobe. I tried to color coordinate it. As you can see it's really cramped. Look at this. Like all of this right here. Those are all my jeans and pants, and those are all my skirts and dress and shorts. And then down there, I have even more stuff. Like, it's crazy. I have too many clothes. And it's not even all of it. And then up here, I just have, like, store stuff. I just have hangers because I bought way too many hangers because I thought I needed them, but I didn't. And then I have an air mattress because a friend came to visit, so he slept on that. The pump for it, and then just, like, these with, like, random stuff in it. I just have a lot of stuff and I just put it all there. Because listen, although this flat is great, there's not a lot of storage. So I had to do with what I could. I'll show you like an overview of the room before. So then you come in. This is my room. Beautiful. So right here we have a shelf. Which is also my nightstand. Because I don't have space for a nightstand. So I use this. And I just have some bits and bobs in here. I have two little, like, 
baskets down there. So I can just put a load of crap in there and nobody will know. And then I have like books, important stuff, hair stuff, my cameras, my journals, my Kindle, some decorations, a mirror. Yeah, just I try to make it cute, but also not too cluttered because I don't like clutter. On the opposite side, you have my desk. It's surprising that I could fit in a desk into this room because this room was so hard to like organize because it was so small and I thought I wouldn't have space for a desk but this is like a folding desk so basically I bought it on Argos it was like 55 pounds or something and then you can fold it so I bought it because you could fold it but I never fold it because I'm too lazy for that but actually if it's perfectly right here and I just have my laptop for work my chair that I bought from Ikea a while ago, my Google Home, a lamp I got on Amazon that I don't even have plugged in because I don't use it. And then my mic and some pens and pencils. And then I have like this little grid where I could put photos and I have like little clips to like put photos on them. But I just don't have photos to put. Like I could put Polaroid photos but I don't really want to. So right now I have like a five sauce ticket a postcard my grandparents sent me two random photos that i had printed like a while ago and i just had so i was like why not put them up and then this polaroid that i got for free when i waited five hours to try to win harry styles tickets and then i only won a bundle and then i made this little collage right here because when i was working i wanted to be able to just look up and see something cute that would distract me and save me from boredom no. Right here we have a 5 sauce picture I got at their concert that they would give in the VIP package. This is also the lanyard, so I have that as well. I've got this photo from the Harry Styles vinyl. I think it's in the vinyl, or it was in the bundle, I'm not sure anymore. I got this print in New York, I bought it there. It's New York, obviously. I got this little card from Jack's wife. Freda. It was like a brunch place in New York City, in Manhattan, and when they gave us the bill, there was this card and I was like, it's so cute, I want it, so I kept it. This is a boomerang I bought in Australia, and then these three little picks are little picks that I got from Five Sauces concert, the Meet You There tour in 2018. I went to three shows and I got three picks. Two of them at the same show and then one of them at the other show. So yeah, I have them. I didn't get any picks this tour though. But it's okay. I got free last tour. It's fine. I've also got this plant right here. I'm not sure what it's called because it's a bit weird because it has like little spots right there. But it's cute. It hangs. I need to get a better pot for it though. But for now, this will do. And I think it's dying, not gonna lie. So I need to water it more, I think. I'm not sure. Next, we have my other clothes. So these are like my hoodies and my jackets. Self-explanatory. At the end, I put my bags. And then I have like my shoes under there. And like this basket right there is like all my bags as well. So yeah, I just have a lot of stuff, as you can see. Then we have my window. Very cute. I have some little decorations because I have nowhere else to put them. I have this little cactus right there. The other two died and I think this one is like dead. So I think I might need to replace them. Then I have my like my Wi-Fi right there. And I just have like a bunch of shit right there because, you know, I have no space. Uh, I've also got the same prints as I had in my room in Lancaster. I think it's better when you guys can see me. But basically I have these two prints that I had in my room in Lancaster last year and even in my room in London before I moved. A lot of the decorations are exactly the same because I just kept everything. Because I bought them thinking that I would keep them for a long time and I almost kept everything. So then I wouldn't have to like buy new things. And this is my bed right here. Literally the same as all my other beds before. There's really nothing. And then I just feel like for storage, I just put everything under my bed. So under my bed is full of stuff like suitcases, bags. I have my rug because I don't know why I didn't want to get rid of it. So now I have a rug under my bed. This is it. There's nothing else to show you guys. I literally showed you everything. But yeah, I'm really happy with this flat. It's very small and cozy and like, I like the way I organized it and like, 
decorated it even though I'm pretty sure I could make a better job at it but like for now it's really good and yeah I'm very happy with it I hope you guys like it too and I hope you guys enjoyed the tour if you did please give this video a like and subscribe to see more videos by me thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye if it's fine by you I'll take the passenger seat